people are in jail tonight, charged in the 2011 murder of a local army sergeant. One of the suspects is the victim's widow. She was arrested by U.S. Marshals in Mississippi today. Local 15's Christian Jennings joins us now. Oh, Christian, this was a joint effort by U.S. Marshals, the Pritchard Police Department, and the DA's office. That it was, and District Attorney Ashley Rich is only saying that new evidence led them to make these two new arrests now, years after the murder of Romano Campbell. Now his family is dealing with mixed emotions, sorrow because they're forced to relive this tragedy all over again, and joy that justice can finally be served. He have served the country. He uh, loved his kids, loved his family, and why would you want to do this to my child? It's been two and a half long years since 32-year-old Romano Campbell was shot 16 times inside his eight-mile home. I'm glad God answered my prayers. He heard me. Romano's sister, Patricia Lucas, is referring to her prayers for justice. And tonight, two people are charged in her brother's murder. Alexander Williams, and Romano's widow, Eugenia Campbell. Officials say the two are lovers and have been living together in Mississippi since the murder. I knew that um, she was involved. Romano's mother, Patricia Campbell, told Local 15 in previous interviews she believed her son's wife was involved from day one. So today's arrest was no surprise to her. She didn't shed a tear. Uh, she, matter of fact, when we went to the front I have clippings of that. Uh, when she went to the funeral, she didn't never look at him. Uh, she didn't never grieve. The district attorney's office isn't disclosing the motive at this time, but there's no doubt in Miss Campbell's mind as to what it was. It has to be uh, money motive, insurance policies. Uh, also, uh, there's benefits from VA and Social Security. First of all, I pray for her soul. I do that, um, uh, but I want justice to be served. The Campbell family has been through a lot over the years. In fact, Romano's mother's home caught fire and was destroyed the same day she learned her son had been murdered back in 2011. And tomorrow morning, the family will, will face its next challenge, seeing their loved one suspected killer, Alexander Williams, in court for a bond hearing. Greg? Yeah, you have been through a lot. All right, Kristen, thanks. A fair